Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome to another iOS programming tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to teach you um, NS notifications and how to send um, information between different view controllers. Um, two views using a, a tab bar controller. So you can delete the view controller that you see on the storyboard drop tab bar controller onto the storyboard basically what we're going to be creating is we're going to create three buttons on the first view controller and when you press one of the buttons we're going to create um, a notification that the second view controller can um, receive and based on which button triggers the the notification you'll see the different values posted to um, the second view controller so what we're going to do now is create three buttons so drag and drop three buttons onto your view controller and name them Circle, second one we're going to name square, third one we're going to name triangle, we're going to select the view controller as notifications app view controller. We're going to create a second view controller for our second view. This is going to be subclassed as a view, UI view controller. We're going to go back to our storyboard and connect um, these buttons to our notifications app view controller. Now we'll create the actions for these buttons. There we go. Now we'll work on the implementation. The one these buttons are pressed. Basically what we're going to do is <coughs> post a notification.
copy paste this to the other two. Let's change the name. So when the buttons are triggered, it's going to create a notification with the post notification name. And now in our detailed view controller, we're going to define First, we're going to go to our second view controller and make sure we select detailed view controller as this path. So now we're going to create a UI label. Connect that to our class. Call it big label. And then we'll define our class to actually receive the notification that is posted. Now we're going to our implementation file. So the way for another class to receive a notification is to add it as, as an observer. So we have to be listening for notifications that are being posted with specific names. So when this detailed view controller is loaded, we're gonna be creating observers for the three different types of notifications that we posted in our other class. So we'll copy paste that. So we'll add three observers based on the three different types of buttons. So now this is this class is listening for three types of notification. And when it does receive this type of notification. It should execute this receive notification method. So now we'll implement that. Now we have to check what type of um, notification was posted. So based on the notification name that's posted, we'll update the label. So we need to 
synthesize the label that we created. So we're going to build and compile this and see if we have any errors. No errors, so we're going to run it. So we need to fix this, but circle. Okay, so we have a couple problems that we need to fix. So we have no vacation name, we misspelled it, so I want to make sure we spelled, spelled it properly. Okay, run again. Here's the label, circle, see, triangle, triangle, then update, so let's see what happens. Stop that. We'll fix that positioning problem and So triangle didn't update, Let's see what happened. So we look at the posting where we post it. We'll look at the connections. Try one more time. Square, circle, square, triangle, so this is how you post and receive notifications through your app and how different view controllers can receive and update other view controllers based on posting and receiving notifications. Thanks for tuning in.